hello and welcome back to my youtube channel i am anudua adibanjo and this is everything and anything with anudua adibanjo in today's video i will be taking you on a trip with me to iita with other ibadan bed club members for the last bed watching of the year so every last saturday of each month the Ibadan bed club holds a bird watching you know for each month and on the 27th of november 2021 this year was the last um, bird watch for the year so i knew that i had to be there even though it's been a while you know with other ipado bed club members and so i left my residence here in ibado with a friend and together we arrived at iita for the bed watch um bird watching is just uh, a theor um how do i put it it's just a way to you know just relieve stress and also to learn more about birds their calls um, and to be able to identify you don't just classify every bird as bird you know you're able to know their names and all of that and so um, this is us you know making our way right into IIT it's a vast um, space um, a green land you know and you know, it's just a rich ecosystem um, with relatively undisturbed um, it's an it's a relatively undisturbed ecosystem anyway and so um, you know uh, I apologize for the video you know sh being shaky and all of that um, it's because we were moving you know um, yeah and so they observed the you know protocols for the COVID-19 and all of that and so we had to wash our hands you know use our face masks um, before allowed um, entrance okay um, yeah so I went with, with my friend um, I call him ATM that's, um, <laughs> that is um, his nickname okay his name is um, Mubarak And so um, I went um, with him and he helped me with you know just some parts of this video anyway so while we were at the gates I decided to you know show you know the outside view you know from where I stood um, yeah right to their reception their reception is just right there um, we didn't go there we didn't have any cause to go there since we you know just came for bird watch we just walked up you know to the gates and we had some conversations with the security guard um, I must say here that um, entrance into the IITA the International um, Institute of Tropical Agriculture in Ibado can be um, can be tight can be a little bit strict um, this is because there are residents right inside um, the IIT people who live there and um, some are foreigners and some also are uh, citizens of Nigeria and so their protection is always of utmost priority and so um, you know they check your bag before you are allowed entrance and all of that um, we were delayed for quite a bit you know um, but eventually well we were allowed entrance and that's not to say that you know we can just proceed we still had to go to the security office to check out our names which we had already sent because of course if you would receive um, an email and um, once you've decided to go you send in your name and your name is registered okay 
so before you allowed entrance even though we sent in our names my friend saw his name my name was not on the list so that was also an issue you know we had to we were delayed really we were delayed but if our names you know if both of our names were there um we wouldn't be delayed but anyway we were later allowed entrance or i was later allowed entrance since it was my name that was not found Kelly Hearn on the list anyway so we had a boss waiting for us just you know right inside the gates and um, you know we entered and we waited for the boss to be fully filled and then you know the journey began you know we um, started to go um, because the place is a little bit far where the lake is is where we were going okay um, because at the lake we get to see different types of bird species okay and um, because you know um, most birds will regularly stay near the lake okay so um, um, you can see the vast space there are residents you know residential places where people live you know it's more or less like an estate but this is just beyond an estate this is a vast green land of relatively undisturbed ecosystem okay of flora and fauna when I mean flora and fauna anyway I mean plants and animals okay and um, I'd just allow you to you know have a feel of the old scenery um, I almost didn't want to cut any part out but you know just you know to avoid having um, a long video more than necessary so um, this is us still proceeding on the journey ready to um, we were going to the second uh, the second um, peninsula um, you know I think you know, there is the first peninsula and then there is the second peninsula so we're going to the second peninsula which was in you know, farther down of course so you know we just keep going and going and going and going So eventually we are at the lake side and you can see that you know the place is just too vast too vast it's a vast space okay this lake um, is known as the John Craig Lake and it spans up to 75 hectares so you can see how long how vast it is okay So if you've never been to IITA before, well, this is your sneak peek into what the place looks like. And of course, this video is not doing justice to the Greenland that we have there.
Okay, we finally arrived and there is a bus, um, there is a, a vehicle waiting for us right there. Okay, uh, instructors, people who teach us about birds, people who, you know, help us identify different species of birds. Okay, so, mm -hmm. that's just, you know, me saying hi to you all. Okay. So at this point we had to register our names, you know, for the bird club, for the bird club, um, you know, just, you know, write our names, leave our emails, okay, so that they'd be able to send us messages, keep us updated about things happening within the bird club. Well, don't you just love the ray of the evening sun on the lake? Well, I do. I hope you do too. You know, every moment spent there was just therapeutic for me. Because before I left on that day, I can, you know, vividly remember that I wasn't, I was a bit down, you know. Um, mentally and even physically um, I was feeling just kind of sick but you know going there experiencing nature at its finest you know really helped me it was really therapeutic so um, they were trying to you know um, arrange the the telescope of course you can always see through you know with the telescope as well okay if you don't want to make use of the binos the binoculars you can always make use of the telescope at this point they had given us you know a task to identify a particular species of bird but there i was filming for y'all so do show me some love by clicking on that subscribe button by turning on your notification cool. bell so that you can always get notified for more videos from me. Before joining IBC, I know that birds are part of the ecosystem um, because um, I'm, 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 what will I say? What will I call it? I'm honored to be the um, founder of the first Nest Museum in Africa. Um, what we want to thank you. Okay. If you want to clap, you can clap. And this is Jimoke Ulu West. <laughs> okay, she calls herself Jimoke Ulu West. Uh, her real name is Jimoke Ulu Kere, and she owns the first. She's the founder of the first West Museum in Africa. This woman right here is doing so well for herself, and I feel so elated meeting her right there. You know, I can, Im I can, you know, vividly really recall that we had some discussions, you know, and, you know, I, you know, just wanted to really, really, really get to know more about what she is into upcycling waste, recycling waste, so that it doesn't become an issue for the ecosystem. And that is what she was sensitizing us about right here, telling us how we can, you know, keep reusing plastics so that it doesn't become an issue for the ecosystem. Um, conscious, intentional steps daily to maintain it because it is not easy. So, if we want to make a video, we write it down here today. 16 years. Imagine 16 years. And she has been I said that the first. And this right here is Uthman Ayoku. He is a travel blogger. He is a wildlifer. He is a is the founder of Wildest Eco on YouTube. Um, you know his channel on YouTube is about showcasing wildlife. You know, and everything that has to do with wildlife.
all right so after the whole evening of you know trying to identify some bird species i can recall we were able to identify um at least two to three bird species um yeah before we decided to to take our leave for the evening I intentionally didn't cut all of this part out because I wanted you to have a feel of what it was like out there experiencing nature at its finest. I mean, it was really, really therapeutic. Finally, we arrive at the gates where we started. But this video will not end without a word from other IPC members. Okay, so you should subscribe to Anyolu. Anyolu Adivanjo. Anyolu Adivanjo. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to Anyolu Adivanjo's YouTube channel. Subscribe to Anulu Adi Banjo's YouTube channel. Yeah, subscribe to YouTube channel. Thank you. Subscribe to Anulu Adi Banjo channel on YouTube. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Anulu Adi Banjo channel. Okay, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's the best news. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, I don't know what you're doing on YouTube. Thank you, Jay. And there you have it. Do not go without subscribing to my YouTube channel. My other IBC members have told you so. I'd like to do a major shout out to everyone who featured in this video in one way or the other and people who helped 
publicize my YouTube channel. So if you are watching this, thank you for showing up on my channel to help me publicize it. And until next time that I will be uploading another video. Thank you for watching this video and do not forget to subscribe, to share, to like and to leave your comments for me in the comments section. I remain Anudua Adibanjo. Bye and thank you for watching this video. Thank you.